Oh, uh, Leafs game's over. You would never know it because they never started. Probably one of the worst games I've seen this year. And before I say anything, I don't want to hear, well, well, it was a back-to-back and it was a really emotional game yesterday against Tampa. This team couldn't make a five-foot pass to one another. Ron Hainsey's doing pirouettes in front of, uh, you know, in front of Garrett Sparks and trying to leave the puck for Dermott. He almost turns over because he's not expecting Ron Hainsey to do that. Matthews looks lazy as hell. And I don't care if it's a back-to-back. Being able to pass the puck shouldn't be that difficult. And Florida didn't even play that great. There were times where they took over play, but that's because the Leafs couldn't do a damn thing in their own zone. Garrett Sparks didn't play terrible. After the first period, I'm like, oh, I'm getting ready to rip into Sparks once again. But he wasn't the problem. The Leafs' offense was the issue. The game's not even over yet. There's still 18 seconds left of the 3-1 game. 29, 19 shots for the Leafs. 19. You have an amazing first five minutes of the game and you get off the one nothing lead. Ron Hainsey's point shot. Great screen in front by Lindholm and it beats Roberto Luongo. Nothing after that. Horrendous period the rest of the way. Just absolutely terrible rest of the period. The Leafs get one shot in 13 minutes. And they and Mike Hoffman scores, and uh, Michael Matheson scores, both point shots, both because the Leafs can't make a pass to get out of their own damn zone. I'd love to sit here and, and say Garrett Sparks is the problem, but Hoffman's goal was a deflection in front. But how did it all occur? Well, <laughs> the Leafs couldn't get the puck out. Matheson's goal, a blast from the point. What happened? They couldn't get the puck out of the zone. It's tape-to-tape passes that you learn when you're 12. That's the stuff that gets me angry. Ringing off posts, out shooting teams, out playing teams, fine. And you lose a game, you know, you were the better team, but you lost. Oh, well, that happens sometimes. But the better team won this game. And I'm sorry, I know guys, I know about hockey and the whole dump and chase garbage. And I get all that thing. I hate it. I've always hated the dump and chase hockey. Especially when you need a goal and you got an empty net. What happened against the Colorado Avalanche? You pull the goalie. You play dump and chase. They score two goals from their own end. In the empty net to seal the game. What happened today? Austin Matthews dumps the puck in. Sparks has already gone to the bench. What does Vitrano do? Fires it from his own zone. Gets it in the net and that's the game. You have the extra guy. Use it. Enter the zone. Set up. Instead of basically just giving them a puck. And they're okay with icing it. Because the Leafs, they look, well they were well, they were pretty good on the draws today. They didn't look, they didn't feel great. Today was a horrendous game. And I want to watch this team go into the All-Star Blake all-star break playing well but we haven't seen that the, the problem that i'm seeing the reason i'm getting angry i'm not going to sit here and bl- blame the defense specifically i'm not here to blame sparks and the goaltending specifically i'm here to blame the damn team's effort that's it period because they look sluggish i understand you just played an emotional back-to-back against the tampa bay lightning but if i'm not mistaken Okay, so Florida didn't play yesterday. I thought they played yesterday against the Montreal Canadiens, didn't they? No, they didn't. Uh, Their last game was against Montreal on uh, Tuesday. So they had a couple days off. You didn't have to travel far, so there's no excuse there. You didn't have to change time zones. That's not an issue. They couldn't make... they, They didn't take shots. And they couldn't make a pass. You know what? And please don't blame Mike Babcock, people. Please, please, please don't blame Mike Babcock. You know why? If you actually watched the game, how many different line combinations did you see? This guy was doing everything he could to try and find something that worked, and nothing did. Nothing. He tried Marner with Matthews. That didn't work. He initially tried Hyman Matthews, or Hyman Nylander, uh, what? uh, Hyman Nylander Matthews. That didn't work. Nylander on the fourth line. That didn't work. He tried everything. And the Leafs gave him nothing. Austin Matthews. Look, I understand he's going to the All-Star game. And he is 
one of the best players on the Toronto Maple Leafs. But watching Matthews, and by the way, he was a minus three in the game today was Austin Matthews. He has been terrible lately. Uh, what has he got here? Uh, two assists again. He has not scored in one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, six games. The last time he got a point was in, or a goal was in that five nothing whomping of the Vancouver Canucks at on the fifth of January. But watching him today, did he look special? I mean, there was a few plays where we're like, "Oh, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice." Fires the puck way wide. Doesn't really do anything. And I watch one play late in the game. He's trying to enter the zone. The puck gets poked off his stick, and he just kind of goes, "Oh," and loses it. Like I know people hate Jake Gardner, and I know people have ripped on Nylander and Zaitsev. The common people that people love to rip on. But if no one here is blaming Austin Matthews for a game like this today, where I didn't see him at all, and he was a minus three, he looked terrible, and say, well, he's Austin Ma D -d Don't give me that. He was terrible today. Sparks wasn't bad. Did he let in that second goal, and would I have liked him to have it back? Yeah, but there was a screen. However, would have liked him to fight around the screen a little bit. He did not. The other one was a deflection. And the other one was an empty netter, so you can't blame him for that. He had, what, two goals and like almost 30 shots? Was it two goals on uh, 28 shots? That's not bad. And both goals were in the first period. Your team should be able to score you at least one more the rest of the game, and the Leafs did not. Your one goal was scored from Ron Hainsey, of all people. He scored four goals all last year. He has his fourth goal tonight. And that's all you get. The Leafs get one power play. I totally forgot they had a power play. When Florida got their third, I'm like, man, ref, even this up, it's 3 nothing in power plays. I check it. We had one. I'm like, oh, yeah, I didn't even notice that. It's that bad right now. Did Freddie Anderson bail the Leafs out in the Tampa Bay Lightning game? Yes. Did the Leafs play better in that Lightning game than they did tonight? Yes. But you want to see some sort of compete level. And I didn't see it. I don't think any of us saw it. I, wa I wasn't watching. I was on my phone most of the game because I'm like, this is boring to watch. But I have to try and fire myself up in the third period because you're down a goal and you need one. They were awful. The Leafs were downright terrible in that game. Now, the Leafs do not play tomorrow, obviously. They've already played back-to-back, -back, so they do not play on Saturday night. The next game for the Leafs is uh, Sunday at 7 o'clock as the Leafs welcome in the Arizona Coyotes, a team that is under 500. The Leafs love playing teams like that, except for the Florida Panthers. Because, um, what, Florida, yeah, they've been terrible lately. 3-5-2 and two in their last 10, Not in, well, that's including today's victory. Um... They're two games under, 18 and 20. The Leafs have now lost five straight games down in Sunrise, Florida. Now, I don't know if every game we play there is usually a second half of a back-to-back -back against Tampa. I don't know how that usually works. It might be flipped sometimes. I, I don't know how that all works. But all I know is that this Leaf team sucked rear end tonight. And what's, what's the excuse? Second night of a back-to-back? -back? Really? Look at the Raptors on second nights of a back-to-back. -back. They're almost perfect. And the Leafs' record on back-to-backs? aren't terrible. But the fact that they looked that bad there tonight, it was embarrassing to watch. Watching the team not even get 20 shots, or did they end up getting 20 shots on net? Yeah, 21. But I mean, two of them were probably garbage shots when you're already down 3-1 with like 20 seconds left. The Leafs barely tested Roberto Luongo. Garrett Sparks was flopping around like a fish all game, as he always does. And the Leafs team didn't skate. And they couldn't make a tape-to-tape -tape pass. I want Mike Babcock in practice to say, Boys, blue line, blue line, pass the damn puck for an hour. Wouldn't be opposed to that. Because then they'll learn what it sounds like and what it looks like to fire a tape-to-tape -tape pass. Because they had an issue with that today. And I'm sorry, guys, look. If you guys watch the Leafs die hard as much as I do myself, and as much as probably a lot of you do, you will know that the Leafs love the stretch pass. They fall in love with it way too much that teams eliminate that, as they have lately. And we saw today what happens when the Leafs try and do a short pass. They look lost. Back to the basics, guys. Sad to watch. All right, so uh, wh when's the next game, like I said? Sunday against Arizona. All right, and then you got uh, Wednesday uh, at home to take on the Washington Capitals. 
And if I'm not mistaken, after that game against Washington, it's the All-Star break, I think. Is it? I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. It's the All-Star break after that game against Washington. The Leafs have two games remaining before the All-Star break. You got a home, you're home both times. You're facing the Arizona Coyotes, Matthews, you know, hometown team. Obviously, we're in Toronto, though. Should he do something special there? Yeah, he probably should. And then the next game, you face the Stanley Cup champion, Washington Capitals, at home again. This Leafs team has not been good at home. They have not been good, period, lately. And do we really need Frederick Anderson to bail us out a game? But even tonight, you wouldn't have even blamed Garrett Sparks. Guys, I want to hear your guys' opinion on this mess. This is two rage videos for the Leafs in the last three games. I hate doing it. It's entertaining for you guys. I know that. But I need to come on, come on here and let off some steam. And this is nice and relaxing for me afterwards. But this is ridiculous. Watching a game like this, it's ridiculous. All right, so you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this absolute garbage. Smack that like button. I do appreciate that. Hit the subscribe button if you guys have not already. Comment down below, guys, what the heck you thought of this game. What do you think of the Leafs' performance overall? What do you think of Garrett Sparks? I didn't think he was bad, but I mean... We get this from Garrett Sparks. You get a not-so-bad game, and then you get a terrible game the next one. But I guess we'll take this good game, even though we lost. Because at least couldn't give him any goal support. Uh, what are your thoughts on this game? What are your thoughts on Garrett Sparks? Also, the team overall, what do you think of their play tonight? And also, am I going nuts, or the whole tape tape pass thing? Is that a thing? Let me know in the comments down below, guys. And uh, Evan and I will talk to you guys heck sometime next week. Wednesday or Thursday podcast edition. Links are in the description for the podcast channel, guys, and for the podcast itself on iTunes. Twitter is also down below. Follow up. Send me a DM. Do all that great stuff. And I will talk to you guys. Raptors edition tomorrow night as the Raptors are at home taking on the Memphis Grizzlies. Raptors, the Raptors look for their second straight victory after that hard-fought win against the Phoenix Suns on the second night of a back-to-back -back there yesterday. And the Raptors look, like I said, Memphis comes to town Tomorrow night, I think it's a 7.30 tip-off there at Scotiabank Arena. And as for the Toronto Maple Leafs, they're off on a Saturday. Very rare. Next up, they take on the Arizona Coyotes on Sunday night, 7 o'clock puck drop. Can we please see a good all-around game and see this team find their legs and score some goals? Because this was sad there tonight. All right, so... Uh, I think we're all hoping and praying for that to happen because they expected uh, Darcy Kemper to go in net. He hasn't been bad for them. Record's not great, but not a great team. So uh, 268 goals against average and a 914 save percentage, not terrible. Uh, the Leafs, like I said, 7 o'clock puck drop there on uh, on Sunday night. All right, so guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, Absolute Rage video because it must have been fun for you guys to watch. And uh, hope you guys hated this video. Or Wow, that's terrible. Hope you guys hated this game as much as I did. We'll talk to you guys then.